And now, I'd like to introduce the Grand Prize Award winner for the 2016 Washington Award, Saad Haddad. Saad is a composer of orchestral, chamber, vocal, and electroacoustic music whose work explores the different possibilities of combining Western art music and Middle Eastern musical styles. Saad's music has an ambitious scale and the selection committee especially praised his grasp, precision, and control of symphonic sound. His ability to minutely control a very broad palette of instrumental sounds typically takes composers decades to achieve, but Saad has already developed an utterly convincing and individual musical voice. Today we'll hear his music on a smaller, more intimate scale. I'd like to welcome Saad Haddad. seven years old, we were doing these uh, biographies on um, these like, famous people. So like, one month we would do scientists, another month we would do authors. And I remember who I did. I did Einstein and I did Steinbeck. And then for music, I saw this picture book about Mozart. And in the, in the book, it said that he wrote his first piece when he was five years old. And I thought, oh my god, I'm already a couple years behind. <laughs> so, uh, and I think I also had a love of classical music before that, but I just wasn't really aware of it. Um, but uh, I begged for piano lessons. I started taking uh, piano lessons just to learn how to play the notes. I actually just wanted to be a composer. So it never was in my mind to actually sit and practice for hours on end. Um, and then as I kept going, going, going uh, in my studies, I decided that I wanted to kind of reach out to my family because none of them understood anything that I was doing with, with Brahms or Beethoven or playing any of that stuff. So I started asking, well, what do you listen to? What should I be listening to that you guys like? And they started saying, talking about all these singers from the Middle East, especially from Egypt and Syria and Lebanon, including uh, Um Kalthum and Farida Lathrush, who were by big influences from about the early 1900s. And I just started listening and listening and listening to all this stuff. And uh, finally, I, I was trying to figure out what project should I, should I incorporate this on. And my mom had all these like VHS tapes uh, when I was really little, and I saw like all my uncles like at my age, you know, in their twenties, and I thought, my God, this is like really cool. So I just started uh, watching all these tapes over the summer, and then I thought one step further, why don't I take audio snippets of all of those uh, things that they're saying, and I created this piece called Mike for string quartet and electronics, and. In the string quartet part, I also had all these Arabic influences in the piece, and it, for me, it just felt like I finally arrived at something that I that I could show to my family and be like, "Hey, look, look at this!" And it felt really good for me, so I just kept on writing piece after piece after piece like that. So this it comes around to this piece. This piece is called Command Fantasy. It's a piece for violin and piano. The violin is based out of uh, this instrument called a kamanja, which is this two-string kind of fiddle you play this way. But obviously we're gonna have a, a Western trained uh, player playing this way. And then for the piano, I thought, well, the piano is not really a Middle Eastern instrument, so what I decided to do is have uh, this like microphone cable inside the piano to kind of emulate this kind of uh, metallic ringing you get from a Middle Eastern instrument called the kanuf, which is like the sideways the zither you pluck at. So when the, when the performers come in, they're actually gonna start playing around with the piano and uh, <laughs> messing with it to get that kind of sound, so it'll take a little while. So anyway, that's, that's kind of just gist of who I am and how this piece came to be about, so thank you very much. Uh, this is Lua Shifang, 
and uh, really out of time. Thank you so much.